How's it going, guys? This is just a quick video to um, it's in a response to somebody's posted a comment on my first Jew Thief video where I added four extra LEDs and it didn't increase the amp draw. Um, it was by EGN um, 83B. He commented that it could have been my power supply that was doing something funky which I agreed with because they do tend to do that. Power supplies do tend to mess around with these electronics and it's always better to use batteries. So that's what I've done today. I've got my, my one AA battery there and as you can see it's uh, pretty new. Just got it out, been playing around with it so um, it's at a 1.5 right now. Okay, that's the setup there. Now this is one of my most efficient Jew thieves that I've built to date. It will literally run about 100 LEDs for about 10 to 20 milliamps of a AA battery. So it won't really run it down that much. And um, it's got something to do with the way this coil is wound. I've tried to replicate it, but I don't know. I got this coil out of a power supply, and it, that coil just seems to do wonders. But anyways, this is just to show that um, it still works, even off a battery. So it's got nothing to do with the power supply. I've got a milliamp meter right there. It's 100 milliamps. Not sure if you can see it. I've really got to get a better camera. Okay, so zero to 100 milliamps, and you will see it's, it draws about uh, 10 milliamps for uh, two sets of four LEDs. They're um, in series, not parallel. Okay, so let's just turn it on here. You can see the LEDs turn on, and we have 10 milliamps and you can see the voltage drops obviously uh, it's all standard okay so just pay attention to that 10 milliamps I'm just going to disconnect one set right now slight little twitch that's about it connect it again disconnect it disconnect the other one there you go so it doesn't quite change anything at all. I'll just do it so you can see everything. Okay, disconnect one set. Connect it back up. Disconnect the other set. Connect it back up. And at these low milliamps, I do notice that these LEDs do shift brightness slightly. When I disconnect one set, the other set goes brighter. I'll see if I can actually show that. No, it's not really showing up on the camera. It's only very slight, but I reckon that's pretty awesome. You get four extra LEDs, or however many you're going to put in there, with no extra amp draw. And that's pretty cool to me. And again, the schematic on how to do this actual setup is on my first video, so you can check it out in that. Um, I've tried it with different amounts of LEDs. works the same. The only thing that you do have to have is the exact same number of LEDs on each side. So if you're going to have four on one side, have four on the other. If you're going to have two, have two on the other. Otherwise they get brighter or dimmer depending on how many LEDs you've got. Okay, um, and the resistance that I'm running on is 4.7K right there. And I've played around with the resistances and it doesn't change. All it changes is the brightness of the LEDs and how much you're drawing. Okay. If somebody could replicate this, this would be awesome, because I haven't actually seen this anywhere else. I've tried looking, but nobody else has seemed to have done it like this. Um, so yeah, uh, subscribe as well. I've noticed a few more and more people have been watching my videos and commenting and such. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the positive uh, feedback and the comments and such. It really helps. But yeah, subscribe if you can. Um, and hopefully I'll post a whole bunch of more videos soon. Alright, catch you guys later.